are laid beside Nelson's in the sanctuary of great admirals. On the road to Macaulay, Macaulay is the hometown of Ras Gugsa, and it is Ras Gugsa whose troops lead the Italian advance on the town. The deserting chieftain himself, son-in-law of the emperor, rides on horseback among his Abyssinian warriors over forbidding country evacuated by the elusive enemy. So the new Roman legions plough forward with tanks and weary black shirts and rebel Abyssinians now warring against their kin. In Addis Ababa, Ras Gugsa's father-in-law inspects the first Red Cross unit raised in Abyssinia. The emperor and empress pose in a group and walk around with Lady Barton, wife of the British minister, who has been the moving spirit in the formation of the unit. In anxious circumstances, the emperor celebrates the sixth anniversary of his accession. A coach which used to belong to the Kaiser carries their imperial majesties on a circular tour of the city, and they are followed by mobs of demonstrating warriors. The perambulation ends at the palace, where excited subjects demonstrate their aggressive allegiance with gestures illustrating how they will fight the Italians. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.